Gentleman from North Carolina is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong opposition to this sham Republican budget resolution. After wringing their hands for the last years about debt and deficits, today's resolution makes clear Republicans care about fiscal discipline only when it's a Democratic president they're dealing with. This budget resolution would add $9.3 trillion to the debt over the next 10 years. It has only one purpose, to provide for the eventual repeal of the Affordable Care Act, but it would ruin our fiscal health as well. Of course, the ACA was fully paid for by Democrats with new revenue and with cost containment measures. Nonpartisan budget experts say that repealing the ACA would actually increase the deficit by $350 billion. So the hypocrisy of our Republican colleagues on this issue is, is simply breathtaking, even by Washington standards. After more than six years, moreover, we're still waiting for that comprehensive Republican plan to replace the ACA. Newsflash. Gentlemen's they don't have one. I yield the gentleman an additional 15 seconds. Gentleman's recognized for an additional 15 News seconds. Newsflash. They simply don't have one. Rather than work with Democrats to improve the ACA, Republicans continue to put their own political ideology over the health and the well-being of the Americans we're all pledged to serve. I urge all members to forcefully reject this budget resolution.